So I'm making some final bits for my garment drop that I'm doing soon. So I'm just making some panels on here that will either be turned into a skirt or a dress. So I'll put it on my panel setting and then I'm going to go to... I need to go this way because it needs to work forward. I've not used my centros in a while, so this is going to be interesting. One left to Miss Coloured Peg, and then I'm using some Nara, I think it's silk. Silk and wool, I think. So I'm just going to cast on, and to cast on, it's uh, underneath, behind, underneath, behind, underneath, behind, until you get back to your first peg and when I first got my centro I thought I was doing something wrong when my panels were dropping stitches at each side but turns out it just has to do that so if you've just got a centro and it's dropping a few stitches on each side when you're doing panels you're not actually doing it wrong so then I've Put it into my gauge tab thing and then I'm going to go back and then that will be dropped that's now dropped I'm not going to be following a colour pattern too much I'm just going to go intuitively with what I think will work nice for these panels and see it just drop then and I also don't mind if the stripes don't match up so we're just gonna have some fun and crank away stitches but it's all right because when i've cast this off i can pick stitches up with my needles and then say like this one it's dropped but then it's picked it back up up here so i can drop them and crochet the stitches up and then pick it up onto my needle and then just knit it so all these drop stitches i'm not worrying about too much at the minute i'm just aiming for length which is going to be like a maxi skirt so Don't be too long before I'm done. I'm nervous for Thursday because I don't know if I'll get the part I want. Or even if I'll get the And I'm nervous for Sunday because I'm going to that bar they used to use the And I don't know anyone there, so I'm going to have to talk to like completely new people and make friends all by myself. And do I look like I can do that? What's this youth thing then? Um, I don't know. Is it with school? No. Have 
because I'm an independent woman. Mascara. Morning. I finished the panel of my skirt last night. It's the next day and I'm gonna do the other one. This is what first one looks like. It's like a rose garden. It's gonna be like this and then I've got a patch that I think I'm gonna put on as like a pocket patchwork type thing this is yarn that i spun from her back by lauren at rooted fibers on instagram she does yarn drops on the first of every month if you would like some bats you send and she spins yarn too so yeah i'm gonna get to work on the next panel i've kind of laid my color palette out a bit so on the other one i think i'm gonna use some funky Funky yarns. This is from a bat that Kurt blended and then I spun it. Uh, these are from a yarn trade from Charlotte that I did. And then I've just got some just got some funky textural bits that I want to put in and I'll be running some at predominant yarns in this one through next panel. So let's do that. Oh and I've got this green too which I think I'm going to do another little patchwork squaring. Oh my 
ready to go. These are some more that I'm gonna include to tie in with first panel and then I'm gonna do some accent stripes that are different to what I did in my first one. So I want that in it as well. I'm gonna cast on with this so then at least one thing same sporadic cohesion am i right reset the panel counter even though the panel counter don't actually work on this machine it don't count properly so i'm casting on again These are the stitches that it will drop as well. So it's dropped these three stitches. If you knit in the panel and it's dropping them stitches, like I said, you're not doing it wrong, it just does that. Right, a little tip for when you're attaching a new colour. So I want to attach a new colour and start my next row in the next colour. So I'm going to stop my row. This The length of the length of tail that I'm going to be leaving. So if I leave that much, then I want to leave about four pegs before I attach my new colour. So if I split that off there... And then get my new yarn, attach, and then when you crank your handle, so now when you crank that length of yarn is going to be as long as your end of your row, so then your knot falls at the end of it rather than falling about there if you were to get to end of your row, attach a new colour. And then keep going because you'd have about four stitches of cream and then your pink would start there. So it makes you not fall at end of your row, which also makes it right easy when you're seaming because you can weave your ends in straight into your seam rather than trying to weave your ends in in the middle of the skirt. And it gives clean stripes then as well rather than having jiggy, jiggity jaggedy ones. Another little tip is when you get to end of your row to get nice clean and tight edges and have your stitches less likely to drop get to end of it as you're going back slightly pull on your yarn and that just puts that little bit of extra tension in there so like I said before I stop at about three to four stitches before I end and then I'll attach my new yarn so that my tails fall at the edge of the panel near enough there we go so I'm just going to keep doing this adding more and more colours until I've got the length of my other panel and then 
we'll be steaming it up i think after that this is the second panel on my end of it so I'm, i've just put my scrap yarn on and then i'm gonna just cast it off and pick my stitches up on my circular needles and then hand knit the bottom so what i'll do is cut this bit of scrap thread off and then make sure it's not going to be going at needles and then crank one way crank the other way and it should do that perfect so now we've got a second panel yay I really like that. So I go to end of this row, the round one that I want to pick up, and I find the last stitch and I put it in from the back instead of like this. Break through that so the very last edge of the stitch is going on first, and then I'll miss one, go underneath, and then you're picking that stitch up underneath, pick it up, miss one underneath, pick it up, miss one underneath. And I do this all the way along. I'm using 8mm needles and it doesn't really matter how long your cable is because you're doing a panel. So if it's too long it'll be fine, it'll just flail. It'll just flail about a little bit. But if maybe if it's too short it could be a bit of a issue for you if your panel's too big for the amount of stitches that are on your cable. But I'm just going to do this all the way along and then I'm going to knit how I usually would. off once you get to your desired length of your skirt and for this cast off it's going to be a stretchy bind off and I knit continental so the way that I do this I would knit one so I've got one on my right hand needle and then yarn over insert knit one and you've got three loops on your needle you grab them two and bring it over that first one so then you end up with your one stitch if you knit English, then you'll wrap over, insert, wrap over, and then grab your two stitches.
probably gonna seam both sides at skirt but at minute I've only done one side and I'm thinking I'm gonna pick stitches up right waistband and then knit ribbon so it's joined it round flat ribbon but then not seam this side and then crochet bows to then tie in with the other bits that I'm gonna decorate it with after and I think I'm gonna use this cream merino for the two by two rib I think it'll just tie in nicely with this uh, merino slub and I don't really use cream in my work very often so I think it'll be interesting and it just ties in with all the the paler spring colours and if I were to put elastic in it then it won't be as visible because it'll be roughly the same colour so I think I'm going to do that now So I picked up all the stitches around the waistband, I'm holding these two together and doing a two by two rib, so I'm knitting this in round and where the seam is, I just knit two together to make it stay a little bit closer and then I'm going to do some bows down this side I think and then I'll probably put a bow here at the top to just secure this this little gap together but yeah I'm really happy with how this two by two ribs coming out it ties in really nice with the merino slub at the bottom and then there's also some paler shades in bits like where this boot is so i'm happy and i'm and the rib is knit with 4.5 millimeter needles I'm just thinking of like parking. Walk down here and then I'm just gonna be in a car and drive. Hi! Hi! <laughs> This is what I'm wearing today to just sit and watch films and knit. But my new shoes gave the they don't fit me right good, but I'm gonna try and wear them in a bit. Progress on dress. So from where I last showed you, I've cast off my ribbon. That's right nice and stretchy, it stretches out quite wide. And then now I'm moving on to putting details on it so what I'm doing at the minute is doing some ties to then make bows and I'm going to do it in intervals down and then I want to do trim pockets flowers applique stuff like that but this is where I'm up to at the minute I'm just doing knits and pearls for this panel I'm just refurbing my phone case because I had these stickers on before and uh, they just started to get a bit ratty from from dirt and stuff that's got in my pockets and that so I'm just I just took them off put some nail polish remover on to get any residue off and then I'm just gonna put them back on these are some trousers that I knitted and I turned it into a sticker and then this is a jumper that I made and then I wrote a little poem 
nothing about how I feel in regards to monetizing art. <laughs> I've been in it in Brack and I made some cheese and crackers before I have my tea later. Yum, this is my favourite cheese. Mm, so good. I love having grapes with cheese. And I found that I actually love mixing sweet and savoury food. It ends up being my favourite types of meals where I'm mixing savoury and sweet. So oh. since I last spot you I've done another half a uh, one at Bows. So I'm going to do one on the other side and then I think I'm going to do one more down there. And then I think the Bows will be done. I'm going to do the green one obviously. This one's like purpley brown. And I'm going to do a hot pink one. And this is actually my hand dyed sewer as well, which is nice. And then I'm going to move on to the pockets. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them yet. And some flower appliques as well. But once I've got these bows done, I can see how they're sitting and then I can suss out where I want to put my other little bits. <laughs> <laughs> 